The great filmmaker and film theorist Sergei Eisenstein talked about five different kinds or five different levels of montage. He discussed this in a book called Film Form. And the first kind of montage he talks about is metric montage. And this refers to the length or duration of each piece of film in a montage. Um, so you could have uneven clips that are edited together to give a certain effect, or you could have uh, the clips have regular and constant intervals. So you could use, for instance, the three-quarter tempo of a waltz or 4-4 four, four, or even some obscure Eastern metrical structure. Although Eisenstein actually warns against getting too complex here because he wanted simple metrics that would allow for clarity of expression so that the ideas would go into the mind of the audience with a certain amount of clarity. And uh, he even speaks about how you should be able to measure with a ruler the, uh, the metrical structure. Uh, it should be that simply expressed. Um, and one of the reasons for this is that the metrical structure is where you would place the motive of your filmmaking and the real sense of intention in that montage. So you could think of military drumming, for example, and how clearly that kind of percussion expresses the intentions of battle and the ideas of, of how war is conducted and so forth, um, the, the spirit that one wants to have going into battle. Now, the second method of montage is called rhythmic structure, and this is where the filmmaker can add the complexity that they're not supposed to have in the metrical structure of montage because here you can actually play against the meter um, within the content of the shot. And Eisenstein in film form gives the example of the soldier's feet in the Odessa step sequence of his own film Battleship Potemkin. And this is really is an example of where the content of the shots becomes just as important as the metrical arrangement. If you watch that sequence, the rhythm of the soldier's feet as they descend the Odessa steps is unsynchronized with the beat of the editing and this gives the sequence extraordinary tension. Uh, the third technique of montage is called tonal montage, and here the filmmaker can insert a sense of melody in order to produce emotion. And how is this done? One way is to use light in particular ways within the shots. Uh, you could achieve shrillness if you wanted, or gloom, or joy, just by using different lighting strategies. You could uh, juxtapose soft focus shots with hard angle shots to stress certain kinds of opposition. Uh, or you could reinforce certain emotional states by having a certain kind of light pattern or tonality dominate in the sequence rather than having multiple forms uh, of tonality creating a sense of chaos and, and disunity. The fourth element of montage is what he calls overtonal montage. And this is related to tonal montage but the difference is that in addition to lighting, overtonal montage is talking about the texture of the objects in the shots. So as I understand this, it's not so much about how you light a surface, but what happens to the object that has been lit, especially over time. There's sort of the effect that light has on the materiality of the filmed object. And he talks about how in Hollywood films, the light uh, creates a certain effect on the way that it touches a, an actress's clothes and so forth. And this overtonal element has a lot to do with what Eisenstein called the fourth dimension of film, or the space-time continuum of film, which has to do with how the materials in the shot exist over time. Uh, it's kind of an obscure thing, but it goes together with, with um, tonal montage. The fifth method of montage is intellectual montage. And intellectual montage has to do with the use, of, the use of symbols. So for instance, October uses a number of religious images in sequence uh, during a particular scene. These include Jesus, the, the Buddha, there's an Eskimo deity, and several other images of God that are both you know, sophisticated and primitive in nature. And what this produces in the montage is logical cognition it causes us to reason intellectually and we come to realize throughout this montage in October with the different deities that the notion of God is being criticized um, it's not done chaotically but in very purposeful steps in the montage and that is really the point of montage it's not the result of chaotic editing it's not a process of tossing in just anything this or that 
it's a combination of these five elements at its most ideal uh, apex, which is metrical, rhythmical, tonal, overtonal, and intellectual elements that create not a whole that is larger than the sum of its parts, as some people think, but a new whole that is entirely new. It's a new creation that emerges as a result of the juxtaposition of its parts.